What's up guys, it's Phil, and it's time for a personal project. So, so this project is pretty cool, and I'm sure you've probably seen these, but I don't see a lot of it here on YouTube, so I decided I would go ahead and do it for you. So this is pretty cool. It is an electrical spool clock. Um, now, it does require some tools that you may or may not have, but I'm just doing it, showing you how I did it, and if you like it, great. If you got another way to do it, awesome. Show me in your comments. Link me to your videos. I would love to see how you guys do this project or adapt this project to what you have. So the materials for this project are pretty easy. All you really need is an electrical spool. Now, I was able to pick those up for free at my electric company. They run the wires themselves, so they have the spools and they're literally giving them away. So one small hack you can do if you're a you know furniture maker or you wanna do something cheap and easy, do some upcycling, find your local uh, installer that does all the electrical wiring around you and they probably have spools for free or very cheap you can sand them varnish them finish them and people like to have those as like coffee tables and stuff it's kind of a rustic feel uh, it's a really cool upcycle project so definitely check that out but i was able to get mine for free and i use them around my fire pit sometimes we burn them once they get worn out and i've also been using them as stations for my outdoor painting area so i've got one in particular that my wife liked the size it's really flat it was nice and clean on top so it's got some white overspray on it already i'm going to take it apart i'm going to sand it and then i'm going to paint it white again so that she can use that for this project once you've got your spool and you've got it painted and taken apart all you need is a clock kit which i will link to in the description the one that i use for this particular project but they're available on Amazon. You can pick them up at like Rockler or Woodcraft. I think they have some as well. They're just a basic clock kit. So that's a lot of description. Let's go ahead and get this montage started so you can see how I do this project and I'll tell you all about it as I go. So, our top has been taken apart, it has been sanded, it has been painted, and it is looking pretty good as it is. I will say, be very careful if you've had these things sitting outside, because I did not realize until I got it about 99% taken apart that there was a wasp's nest inside of my spool. I'm very lucky I didn't get hit. I'm also not allergic, so it would have just hurt. I don't care, but be careful out there. We are outdoors, we are doing woodworking. There are spiders, there are bees, there are wasps. There are all kinds of things to look out for, so just be careful. But this thing is ready to go, so I'm going to leave it as is right now. I'm not gonna apply any wax or anything because I want the vinyl to stick to it later, and we'll get to that in a minute, but the next thing I need to do is make a French cleat to hang this on the wall. Now, in order to do this French cleat, I have selected one small piece of select pine uh, that I've got from my scrap pile. It's three quarter thick and two and a half inches wide. To make the French cleat, it's very, very simple. I'm going to set my table saw at a 45 degree angle, uh, the blade, and then I'm going to rip that more or less down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm not exactly worried about my exact measurements here, but I want to somehow near the middle rip this guy in half so you've got a 45 degree with a flat side on one side and a 45 degree with a flat side on the other when I have the two pieces separated. From there, I'm going to attach one piece with the outward 45 degree angle angled down on this and I'm going to save the other piece to attach to my wall later. So if that didn't make any sense, check this out.
Was that simple enough? So here's how it's going to work. Um, the smaller of the two, this one, I'm going to pre-drill a couple of holes and mount it to the back of my clock with the face facing out. So if this is the back of the clock, it's going to mount to it with the 45 degree angle angled down away from the clock. This other piece I'm going to save and I'm going to attach it to the wall with the angled side, if this is the wall, away from the wall. Pretty simple, right? Away from the clock, away from the wall, put them together, oh snap! It holds it pretty well. So, I like French cleats, especially for really heavy stuff like this, so I'm going to go ahead and get these pre-drilled and attach one to the back of the clock and hang on to the other one for hanging it on my wall later. I'm also going to add a small three quarter inch piece. I've cut it to about seven and a half inches. Um, I'm going to stand it up so it's three quarter inches tall and pre drill two holes and attach it to the bottom of the clock. And I'm going to do that to help the clock sit flat on the wall. So this won't actually attach to anything. It'll just be a buffer against the wall and make up for that extra space that is added by having the French cleat on the back. A shot time standpoint this thing is done there's nothing else I can do to it it's ready to go on the wall but it's just a spool it still needs some numbers it still needs some hands so what we're gonna do is I'm going to give this to my lovely wife she is going to handle putting the numbers on it I'm gonna detail that in just a moment also we're going to go ahead and get the kit installed on the backer board uh, and then later once she's done with the numbers I can install the kit and get this thing going
So to finish off this project, I've got a very simple clock kit. Um, I purchased this one on Amazon and I should have a link to it in my Amazon store. Um, if you are concerned about the hole in the middle, I got one that is slightly bigger, so I'm hoping that it's going to fit over the hole. Uh, if not, then I'm going to try to figure out a way to get it in the back. But, um, let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart, installed, and see how it works. Once you've got the clock kit put together, we're going to leave the back of it off so that we can access it through the hole in the center of the spool face. Now depending on what size spool you have versus the one that I have, the sizing may be different so you may have to work this out a little different than I did, but here's what I did to get it attached. Because I want this thing to be sturdy when attaching uh, the battery, I went ahead and cut two small strips of pine. They're basically just a little thicker than a shim, so they're a little over a quarter inch. Uh, they're about two and a half inches long and only about an inch wide. And I took these and simply hot glued them using some industrial strength hot glue into the casing, making sure that I didn't block the dial uh, or make it so that I couldn't take the clock components apart later. After a couple minutes when the hot glue set, I was then able to put some glue onto the other end of the uh, pine pieces and slide that into the hole in my spool for a nice tight fit. Held that in place for a little bit and let that glue set up as well. Finally, once that glue was cured, I went ahead and turned the spool up on its side and I put some glue all around the sticks and a little bit more inside of the housing, making sure that again, it wasn't blocking any of the dials or mechanisms, but that it would all have a good grip and a good hold so that you could push and pull the battery out without dislodging the face later on. I also want to make sure that it's secure so that this thing gets a nice, long-lasting life. The next step is going to be cutting holes in our French cleat. Now I'm going to take the leftover piece from earlier and I'm going to go ahead and put three holes in it, two towards the outside, one towards the center. Obviously it would be really great if I can find a stud in my wall later on, but if I can't find a stud I can always use some heavy duty drywall mollies and that should hold this thing up. So now that I've got everything installed and my French cleat is ready to go, I'm going to take it inside and put it on the wall and call this baby done. Now it's time to actually install this thing. So the first thing I want to do is try and find a stud in the wall <clears throat> and hopefully it'll line up with one of my pre-drilled holes. But if it doesn't, I can always pre-drill another hole and that way I can have at least one screw that sets directly into the studs. The other holes I'm going to punch little holes through and put some heavy duty drywall mollies through and that's going to make sure that this thing actually stays up on the wall the way it's supposed to. So let's start by finding a stud and go ahead and get this thing attached. So as it turns out, this wall actually has some sort of backing behind it. It used to be an exterior wall, so the studs are not exactly where they're supposed to be, and there's a lot of plywood behind here. So I think two of my screws are going to land in the plywood, whereas the third is going to have to simply use a drywall molly. Once the screws are in place and everything is level, all you have to do is simply lift the clock up so that the cleats meet as the clock comes down on its own. It will pull itself into the wall for a nice tight fit, and it will be nice and secure. Now simply set the time, install the battery, and you got yourself a new clock. So 
that's pretty much it. This project is super easy and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to do one yourself, go pick yourself up a spool, go get you some paint, go get you some supplies. If you don't have a Cricut, I know that there are some people on Etsy that can also cut these uh, little you know, numbers and stuff for you. You can also find them at your craft stores and stuff like that sometimes, so I'm not going to have any links for that. Just look around, do a little bit of research, and make sure that it matches your style. I am, however, going to have links to my new Amazon store where you can find stuff that I like using, that I recommend, and for the projects that I give you, you can get some links to stuff there. If you click on those links and purchase through Amazon that way, you help support this channel, and I super appreciate it. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and sometimes Twitter when I feel like it. Everything is at PMK Woodworking, so definitely check me out there. If you do any of my projects or DIYs, definitely hit me up, and I want to see some of these clocks. These things are really popular, a lot of people are selling them, a lot of people are making them, so I would love to see yours, especially if you did it based on my DIY. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye!